Hey guys and gals, welcome back to Raft. You'll never guess what I found. It's right there, cooking up in the smelter. That little feller. Can I take it out? I can't take it out. We have to wait till it's done. So give it a moment and I will surprise you. You'll, you've never seen anything quite like this. I guarantee it. And in the meantime, let's go ahead and have some nice fresh water. Let me tell you, I love this new um, distiller thing of a bob. Because all you got to do is put salt water in it, and it makes it automatically. It's pretty darn sweet. No fuel necessary. All right, what's well, done? Okay, I gave you three guesses what it is, and the first three don't count. Right, copper ring it. There you go. How did you know? <laughs> so I found copper, copper ore, down at the bottom of this island. It attaches itself to the island, and we're going to go down there and get more. And I'll show you exactly where it is and how to find it. But first, let's drop this ingot in here and let's sacrifice it to the vine gods. And unfortunately, we lose that one piece. But now we can learn how to make circuit boards and batteries. Sweet. And now that we know how to make that stuff, we can unlock the rest of these recipes, pretty much. The receiver, the antenna, and the battery, of course, and the circuit board. We gotta make that circuit board next. So then we can, then we can uh, unlock all those other ones. So how do we make a circuit board, I wonder? Here it is under resources. We need, oh, we need two more copper ingots. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to go diving and get another one. But in the meantime, well, before we do that, I should say, we're going to cook up some more vine gods. And I think I need five to make flippers. Yeah, five vine gods go into my flippers and a bunch of seaweed and some plastic. They're not going to be very comfortable. Uh, all right, let's just wait for that and then we'll head down there and I'll show you where to find that copper But before we go, I think I might wait till morning or I guess we could sleep The only problem about sleeping in this game is you do lose hydration and uh, Food in your belly because it simulates like that you slept all night. You know what I mean? Now the shark hat head is a hat. I found out so we can put it on <laughs> What? Oh, that's adorable. I just wish I could see myself I want to see Paulina with it on. I guess you can really only see it in multiplayer. And that is super distracting. Uh, no, I don't like it. Let's take that off. Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Hinders my peripheral vision, it does. Well, it doesn't really, but whatever. Let's take it off. Now, let's go grab this vine god. Yay! New vine god done. And do we have any more metal? Um, ore. I don't think we have any more ore. Oh, we do have one more ore. Let's just throw this in there. There we go, cook that up. And now, my friends, for the moment we've all been waiting for... Well, I have anyway. Flipper! That what? Oh, they degrade. Really? Well, that makes sense. They are made out of seaweed. So, we put them down here. Does it matter what slot? I don't think so. I'm gonna wear them on my head. Put them on our feet. I think the last slot is feet. I really don't think it matters. <laughs> and then we'll use those in the morning to dive deep because we do have to go way down deep and unfortunately Paula cannot hold Paulina cannot hold her breath for very long and she uh, she has to come up her ear really quickly so all right yeah let's do that can I sleep right now is it nighttime because you can only sleep during nighttime let's try oh yeah ah so refreshed feels like I just went to bed all right um let's eat this little chicken and let's have a sip of water mm -mm -mm. a couple sips of water that is get this thing going again and then we're gonna hop down when that sun comes up so we can see what the heck we're doing down there it's really dark the deeper you go the darker it gets and grab that metal ingot all right let's get one vine god cooking up while we're away and now let us jump in the water and find some more copper. But before we do that, we're going to toss out Dickie's Pomfret Surprise. We'll keep him busy because he gets awfully feisty in the morning. Go get it, Dickie. There he goes. Okay, go. Down we go. All the way down. We're going to pass all this stuff. We're going to pass this shelf here. Oh there, oh, there we go. Oh, wait. This isn't copper. That's regular metal. Yeah, so regular metal grows down here, too. Didn't know that. And there it is. It's got a coppery look. Looks delicious, like butter. Grab it all. Grab it all. So, I'm not sure how many you can find down here. That's obviously the four so far in this one island. Um, I'm wondering if there's more on the other side. Oh, come on, flippers. All right, so the flippers definitely help you swim a little faster, but you still can't hold your breath very long. 
All right, let's go over to the other side while Dickie's still occupied with his pomfret surprise. And go down here. I'm going to have to pass some of this stuff because I don't really need it right now. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. This is, oh, this is copper, copper, yeah. Because we're going to need a couple ingots to make some things, right? So we better grab a bunch. As much as we can. Dang it. All right, there's Dickie. He's still busy. But we got to grab some oxygen. <laughs> Look at him go. He loves that stuff. All right, one more. One more quick dive down this way. And hopefully we can get one or two more. Oh! Oh, look at that! There's a shelter down here! Ooh, grab it! Look at all that good stuff! Oh, a clam! Okay, now we gotta get out of here. I don't see any more copper. But Dicky is done with his pot for surprise, so he's gonna be coming around. And there's that dang seagull! Alright, that's okay. We got five copper. Whoa! Oh, seas are getting stormy! Seas are getting stormy. Let's get that cooking up. And when that's done, we'll make up a circuit board. We're going to need two copper ingots for the circuit board. And then we'll uh, then we'll research the circuit board. Holy cow. Oh. I think we might have to shove off. We're going to get destroyed. The raft is going to get destroyed on this big rock. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let us shove off. Let me go grab the anchor. Oh, that's that one. We need this one right here. Pull it up. Pull it up, Paulita. Yeah, this rock is just going to destroy our raft, so we got to get away from it. All right, goodbye. It was fun while it lasted. And now, which way are we headed? This way. Perfect. And away we go into the seas, the rough seas. And in the meantime, we'll be cooking up this copper. And then we'll, uh, we'll move into the electronic age. Can't wait. So give me a moment. Let me cook all this stuff up. And we'll be right back. I'm on top of the world! <laughs> I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio in, uh, in Titanic. Great movie. Great story. Except that, uh, spoiler alert, the ship sinks. Just had to say that. Anyway, yeah, so welcome back. Um, what have I done? Nothing. I'm still making the, uh, iron. Copper. Copper ingots. we got one more to go. Cook it up. Cook it up, and then we shall make something with copper. Although, we can make something right now. I notice we can make this, uh, what the heck is it? Bird's nest. Palm leaves, planks, and a giant clam. We can make a bird's nest. What are we going to do with a bird's nest? Well, clearly, we're going to catch a bird. I think that's the whole idea. Let's put the bird's nest right over here. Yeah, that'll attract birds, right? And they'll lay eggs, and we can eat the eggs, or we can stab the birds. That's my guess. I don't know. We'll find out when we catch one. So we just have to wait. Still cooking? All right. So, yeah, we have a lot of expansion to do here, in fact. And while we're waiting for that last copper ingot, I guess I'll give you my plans here. Um, I'm going to put a... I'm going to put a cabin up here. And maybe I'll even expand this out one more. I'm not sure about that. I just want to be frugal with my wood. Got to be frugal with the wood. It goes so fast. But, yeah, I think I want to make a cabin here. We'll enclose it. And I really do believe I'm going to have to pull this out somewhat. Yeah, I need to think about that. But it's going to be a little cabin here where we can go in during the storms. So we can be comfortable and dry, right? Anyway, all right, we got what we needed. Our five copper ingots, more than enough, to make a circuit board. Is that what we want? I guess so. Yeah, because we got to take the circuit board and unfortunately sacrifice it to the vine gods. No. But that opens up the antenna and receiver recipes. And now we can make pretty much everything. But again, that one little this fella right here, we just have to make a whole bunch of vine, uh, vine, vine gods. Vine gods. Make up that plastic bottle. And then all the recipes that I have anyway shall be unlocked. And we can make the binoculars and an oxygen bottle for swimming underwater. But at least we can do the electronics part. That's kind of cool. And what can we do with this stuff? So the receiver requires two circuit boards and an antenna requires one circuit board. So I guess it makes sense to make at least 
one more circuit board. But we need a vine god, don't we? Where's all my vines at? Here we go. Here, let's summon a vine god. And then we shall make a circuit board. Oh, guess who's back? I hear him. I don't, oh, jeez, he's right there in front of me. All right, vine god is complete. Let's whip up another circuit board. Now with the circuit board, what should we make? We can make an antenna if we have a bolt, or we can get the receiver. I guess we need both of those things, so it doesn't matter which one we make first. We're still going to need both of them. All right, I hear a bird. There he is. Chewing out well said. Get him. Oh, we got him. Nice. But there's nothing in the nest right now. Yeah, at this point, I think we might just have to wait until we get more copper. Because we need more circuit boards. And that means we're going to need copper. And we're most likely going to need the battery. Where's that battery at? And that requires copper as well. Look, it's the sun. And why are you staring at it? It's going to burn your eyes out, kid. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, welcome back. It's a whole new day. The sun is up. It's clear blue skies, kind of, sort of. And the storm has passed, thankfully. I found a new island right there. Right there, that big one right there. See it? See it? And I did dive down, and I found some more copper ore, and it's cooking up right now. Is it done? Oh, it's done! Yay! So, that gives us now three copper ingots and one circuit board, and I still think we're a little bit short story of my life a day late a dollar short let's do the math here so hold on this is going to get scary i'm not very good at the math so yeah we still need two more ingots for the uh the circuit board so let's grab some vine goo here make up another circuit board and that's going to allow us to make the receiver if we can find a hinge it all hinges on you, little feller. Ba dum bum -ch. Yay! A receiver! What do we do with the receiver? Used to locate nearby radio signals. Of course! But the point is, we're down now to only one copper ingot, and we need another circuit board for the antenna, which means we need two copper ingots to make the circuit board for that. And we also need... Where's my battery at? Battery! Right here bring it for the battery which we will just bang out right now oh it's a doozy and oh it has a little health bar down here which means that it will run out of power over time right use the power electronic electronic electronical 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 machinery <laughs> say that a thousand times fast oh hey mac this isn't mac i would never cook mac all right oh by the way check out this little dude it's a duck i found him fishing i was fishing for pomfrets for pomfret surprise for dicky and I caught me a Scrap Mechanic Duck. It's an old plastic duck. Seems to originate from the game Scrap Mechanic. So my guess is the developers of this game made uh, made Scrap Mechanic 2? I don't know. Uh, well, Scrap Mechanic also. I don't know about Scrap Mechanic 2. Anyway, let's put the duck up here. We're going to call him uh, f uh, First Mate Quack. Oh, he's, the, he's the lookout. You sit right here, okay? You sit right here in the duck's nest. It's like a crow's nest for ducks or something. Anyway. Now, we're going to have to go back down and get some more copper, right? Because I'm pretty sure my math is correct. Even though there are three kinds of people in this world, those that can count and those that can't, and you clearly know which one I am, I do know that we do not have enough copper. So, let's go back down into the water and we'll find some. However, before we do that, I want to make this stinking bottle here. Let's make up a bottle. Plastic, six pounds, oh, a lot, whole bunch of vine gods. Come here, you. And we're going to need more plastic. Oh, I got tons and tons of plastic here. Let's make up that bottle. Oh, what? I need lots of vine gods for this. Wow. All right. It's a beautiful plastic bottle. And unfortunately, we have to sacrifice it back to the vine gods. And, oh, achievement unlocked. I'm a bookworm. Woo. No one's ever accused me of being a bookworm before. Anywho, we can now learn this oxygen bottle. That's really what we're after right now. And binoculars to see farther. All right. Let's make up that... Uh, where's my scuba gear? Right here. We need more vine gods. Of course we do. And another empty bottle. Oh, man. I guess we're not going to be able to make it right now because I don't have enough of all this stuff. All right. Well, let's, get, let's summon another vine god. At the very least. And we'll put these vine gods away because we got to go diving. we got a shack down here. Oh, copper. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Two copper 
and grab the goods. Get in that shack. Grab the goods. All right, we gotta get out of here. Grab that seaweed on the way up. We need more vine gods. And oh, there's Dicky right there, enjoying a pomfret surprise. I should poison that thing. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, don't miss it. And two more. And that should do it. All right, Paulina, swim. Get to the surface. Uh oh, Dicky's done with his pomfret surprise. Up oh, we go. Woo, we made it. Four copper ore. That should do it. All right, while we're waiting for the copper to smell, let us continue. How about if we do some building? Yeah, let's build a cabin. Build a cabin right here. We'll enclose it with some walls. And you know what? Well, let's put this radio receiver down. I'm curious to see. Oh, it comes with its own little table. Oh, that's cool. So, yeah, we should put this indoors, right? However, I want to get the walls down first before we get that thing put down. So let's go ahead and make some walls. I'm thinking windowed walls here. We can make them with thatch or just regular wood. Um, I think I'm going to make a thatch ceiling. So the wood would probably be best for the regular uh, portion of the structure. And I want windows here so Paulina can get nice fresh air. Sea breezes and some sunshine. And since the windows are cheaper than the regular walls, why don't we just make most of them windowed? And we'll put up some solid walls here in between. I hope I got the orientation right. I'm thinking these cross pieces are supposed to go on the inside. So they look better on the outside, right? In case we see anybody. Dude, get up! What are you doing down? Um, yeah, I think that looks fine. I just don't want to use up all my wood. All right, there we go. How much wood do I have left? What the? One plank. Ah, oh, we got plenty. Plenty more right here. All right. Let's, um, let's stop right here. I think the copper is done. Oh, it sure is. Toss another one in there. Keep it cooking. And now, let's get that radio receiver in here. Is that the right facing? Yes. So looking at the screen and the dials and the knobbies. And I'm thinking maybe in this corner right here. Get, kind of get it out of the way. Oh, Paulina likes it. Thumbs up. Uh-oh. Battery's not included. <laughs> That's okay. We have a battery. Got a lovely battery right here we made. Now, what does that say on that? I cannot read it from this side. Because it's upside down. Does it say mayonnaise? I could swear that says mayonnaise. Anyway, let's place the battery. Now I can read it. Hold on. Paulina, what does that say? It does say mayonnaise. 35% mayonnaise. Awesome. It's a mayonnaise container. It's obviously a makeshift battery that we made with a mayonnaise container. All right. There we go. Boot it up. Antenna 1, antenna 2, and antenna 3 all not connected. Why do we need three antennas? Are we triangulating? Maybe. All right. Well, let's make our antenna. It's the last piece of this puzzle. Hurry it up, smelter. I think we're going to need another smelter because this thing is slow. Um, oh gosh, put a window here. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see much with that palm tree there. We're going to have to move it. Um, let's do all windows in the back like this. Eek, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. You know what? Let's hold off. Because I think the ingot is done. It is. Woohoo! All right, toss another one in there. Keep it cooking. And now we can make our circuit board. Oh, we need a vine god. Come over here, you little green stinker. Make a circuit board. That's what we need, right? I don't want to mess this up. Yeah, because we need the antenna. Where's my antenna? And a bolt. Grab one bolt. And now, my friends, we have an antenna. Yes! Look at that thing. It's awesome. So now what do we do with the antenna? I don't want it in the house. Oh, you know what we can do? We can put the antenna up here. Yeah, nice spot for it right there. Boom! Okay. Oh gosh, <laughs> there's a there's a line here. There's a cable. <laughs> I think this could be an occupational hazard right here. Yeah, someone's gonna get clotheslined. Ah. Okay, well at least it's not solid. You can go right through it. Hey Paulina, how about some lighting in here, huh? Let's get a uh, let's get a lantern up, aka torch. Paulina likes it. All right, crank it up. Wrong altitude. Or antenna one is at the wrong altitude. Um. Does that mean it has to be at the same level as the receiver? I guess so. All right, well, let's move it. We'll have to put it down here for now, which is fine. Uh, I don't want it inside the 
the bedroom. That would be weird. So how about if we just stick it over here? By oh, dick it, yeah, jerk. I got stuff to do. We got people to call on the radio. Oh, man, his timing. Such a pest. Okay, let's go check it out now. Let's go check it out now. Is the cable still there? Oh, it sure is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, nobody call OSHA. Or whoever's in charge of the occupational hazard out here in the world of uh, the nauticals. Antenna number one is online. And we need two more antenna, unfortunately, to make this thing operate properly. So, well, let's not waste the battery. It's not going to work like that. And I'm thinking I'll probably move that somewhere else eventually. I don't like that line right here. And this. Wow! Ow! Oh, see? That's what I'm talking about. Occupational hazard. All right, let's grab first mate quack. We're going to need you, pal. You are now the radio duck, okay? You know how to operate this thing? Do you have any training? Certifications? So I think we're done here for now, folks. Let us get this uh, other copper going. And we're going to need... Wow, we're going to need two more circuit boards, huh? Ay, caramba. Okay. So I got a little bit of work to do off camera. Oh, you yeah, stinking dirty bird, you. Ha! Ah! Gotcha. All right, cool. So this is pretty neat. If you guys have an idea of how to use this thing, once we get the three antennas, please let me know down in the comments so that in the next episode we can uh, we can operate it properly and find this utopia place. I think that's how it works, right? And I'm going to move that antenna somewhere so that cable's not running across the floor and the stairs. And I'll finish up the cabin as well. Got to figure out what to do with this palm tree. All right, guys, we are really going to call it quits right now. Radio Duck Quack and I are going to try to figure this radio out together. They say two heads are better than one, right? Right, Quack? Right. So we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye-bye.